encourage them behind us 100%, and they're like a family. And they encourage us, they help us, they support us, and along with our pastor, who also helps us and supports us. And our pastor helps us children and youth. 100%. He holds this whole church together, and that's why we love Mount Tabor and our pastor. Well, my name is Ray Carpenter, and uh, my job is simple. I'm a technician here at Mount Tabor, and uh, my job is simple to make pastor as comfortable when he gets into the pulpit where he can hear and understand and where he can deliver the message. He's a young, dynamic pastor. Uh, I've grown to love him over the years. Uh, I met Pastor Tyson Brown some years ago when he first came here to the church at the Citywide Revival to hear um, C.W. Clark. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was the first time I met him. Unbeknownst to me, years later, he would become my pastor. Um, Pastor Stafford would always say, treat people as if you want them to come back. And my God, he's our pastor, and I love him dearly. Again, my job here is to make him as comfortable as possible. Every time that I rise up, it seems just like I fall. I remember as a child, my mama used to say that I'm going to be someone that people going to love. And what you taught, I heard it from my father. chosen a better husband for myself. So, what kind of father is Pastor Brown? My dad is a wonderful father. He is a counselor, a friend, someone you can go to and talk to about anything. Um, 
he's one that will praise you when you're right and he'll shoot you down when you're wrong. He is just, he's a fair father. He's um, a strong role model and someone that you can always look up to to find out what you need to be doing and what you don't need to be doing. That's, that's him. Yes, I would, I would agree with her 100%. He's everything, you know, he, you, know, you, you, you come to him about, he's 100% behind you. Um, you can go there for advice. He's an expert in that area. Of course, I'm sure he mentioned he, he wins all the games we play, all the board games we play. Uh, but it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we all know I'm, I'm the trouble king. <laughs> and my dad is a sore loser. Yes. Very dad, sore loser. Yes. Oh man, it feels good to be in the middle. Like, to be noticed as the youngest person in the family. But also, my dad is very serious about his work. To me, he's the best pastor in the world. He's always saying how proud uh, of us he is, but I'm, I'm very proud of my dad. He made some accomplishments that, that, you know, they're just, you know, extreme. And I'm very proud of him for that. He's a perfect role model. Now. Anybody who needs a role model, anybody without a father, anybody without any male figure, um, he's a perfect one to fill that role. Being the pastor of Mount Tabor is an humbling experience. It's it's a, it's a big church with a small church feel, and uh, one of the challenges uh, that I'm I'm trying to uh, and I'm really faced with and trying to to get across in terms of the vision for this church is you know there's an old paradigm. Has you know leader at the top, and everybody uh, below the leader uh, just kind of you know do their own thing. Uh, but there's a new paradigm that I'm trying to get across to the church, and it kind of flips the pyramid. It has the leader at the bottom supporting everybody up top. Um, that, that same paradigm, when uh, the woman at the well came to Jesus, she came broken and defeated. And when she left Jesus, she, she came, she went through the city, said, come see a man. And that kind of empowering uh, that Jesus did for people is the type of uh, mission that I'm trying to get across here at the church where we have individuals who have been in the church for a while who are empowering those who are, are new to the faith. And that's the type of the ministry approach that I'm taking. First of all, I love my favorite because I love the Lord. And uh, I believe that God has sent me here to do a service for Him. And as far as my pastor goes, uh, there's no one better. And Mount Tabor is a church on its way to heaven. Our motto is that you can end your search uh, for a friendly church. And in terms of our pastor, Pastor Brown epitomizes humbleness. He's a man of God. He, he doesn't even talk the talk, but he also walks the walk. And so when you, when you come into this church, uh, you, you feel a sense of, uh, of family and, and, and the sense of warmth. And, and not only are you going to get taught the word, you're going to also be edified. So uh, we just uh, invite all who want to come down and join the family. And may God continue to bless us all. Amen, brother. Amen. Hi, my name is Deacon Ed James. I'm just elated to be here at the Mount Tabor Church. We just eclipsed 50 years of, in the soul saving business. And we're here because it's a history. We have only the third pastor in the history of Mount Tabor in the Reverend Tyson Brown. Dynamic, bold, and always have a word to say. So come on out where you can end your search for a friendly church. That's on our bulletin. See you here at the Mount Tabor Church. You've had a chance to meet my family, the Browns, and uh, good, bad, and different. Uh, this is my family. Uh, when you think about the church, the church really is made up of individuals of all types. It's a diverse uh, quality, and, and uh, my church family uh, fits that bill, and I'd love to, for you to be a part of the church family, and we welcome you to the Mount Church. God bless you. To see